So anyway, now I am supposed to introduce uh, a man who has really made this thing happen in terms, this is the eight year, and um, he's a city council member member who uh, is here, and he's got community on his mind. He um, had a, a Ann's Kitchen, got a day for themselves, and Mario of the restaurant got a day for himself, and so we're going to do a big deal right now. And he is District 7. He's a member of the NAACP, Organization for Women, and so important to our community, Chris Worthington. <clears throat> it's a great pleasure to me to be here today, to be a part of the Berkeley Poetry Festival. Um, and I think I've been here every year, well not here, but I've been at different places, different years for the Poetry Festival. And every year it seems to get better and better. So it's great to have so many people here. Uh, this year we have the great joy of honoring someone who has done so much for the uh, community and cultural life of Berkeley. Uh, and many of us know him from many different hats that he wears. Uh, he is an author, an editor, and he is a poet. Uh, but but in addition to all of that, he also spreads news and information about culture uh, through his radio uh, program, Cover to Cover. I'm sure many of you have heard that at some point on KPFA. So it gives me immense pleasure to be able to present this year's proclamation. It is signed by all nine members of the Berkeley City Council. Uh, and I'm going to read a few of the sec sec sections of it uh, in honor of Jack Foley. <clears throat> Whereas Jack Foley, a resident of the East Bay since the 1970s, has been an exceptional and inspirational fixture in the city of Berkeley's arts and cultural community, promoting poetry and literacy. Throughout the course of his career, Jack has contributed immensely to poetry, through his poetry books, <coughs> Words for Adele, Gershwin, Adrift, Exiles, California Ra Rebels, Beats, and Radicals. Uh, probably every single one of us is uh, written about in one of his books. <coughs> Whereas Jack coordinated the very successful poetry series at Larry Blake's and at the Cafe Milano, Whereas his skeleton's defense of carnality is included in the sidewalk in the Addison Street Poetry Walk. <clears throat> Whereas he is innovative, widely published poet and critic with his wonderful wife Adele performing very frequently in Berkeley and the Bay Area. Therefore, on June the 5th, 2010, the Earth and eighth annual Berkeley Poetry Festival honors Jack Foley with its Lifetime Achievement Award, and the City Council of the City of Berkeley hereby recognizes and proclaim June 5th as Jack Foley Day. I have a little speech, inadequate, but a little speech. This award honors my wife Adele as much as it honors me. She was there for all the whereases. I want to begin with a quotation. Some of you may know it. Two quotations from Wittgenstein. He says one thing. Closer, you can't hear me? I'm hearing myself very loudly. He says it's fine. Are you having trouble? Okay. Raise my voice a little, okay. As I said, this award honors my wife Adele as much as it honors me. She was there for all the whereases. And I want to quote two things from Wittgenstein. I love the quotations. One was very early. One was very late, but the second is an answer to the first, or a qualification. Wittgenstein said, the world is all that is the case. There it is. 
The world is all that is the case. This is the world, everything that's here. There it is. The second quotation. Thought can be of what is not the case. All right. They say that every dog has its day. This is definitely mine. The great kindness of Louis Cuneo and the festival and the wonderful city of Berkeley has placed my usually maintained cynicism in disarray. Louis Cuneo's Mother's Hand Press published my first book in 1987. And now this. I feel much in tune and with good reason with a place nicknamed Berserkly. Did Gloucester ever have a Charles Olson day? I remember years ago, during the Troubles, riding a bus to the UC campus, the driver looked at all the well-clothed, well-scrubbed, beautiful young men and women carrying protest signs and was utterly amazed. There they were, like young gods and goddesses in California's perfect weather. What could there possibly be to protest? I knew, of course, but for him, these people were in heaven. Today, I feel a bit like I'm in heaven too. Imagine, Jack Foley day. Jack Foley dazed. Of course, as everyone knows, whatever I have achieved would have been utterly impossible without the support, encouragement, good humor, and loving criticism of my wife and performance partner, of Adele. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> and without the support and interest of the wonderful community of poets in this highly poetic area, <laughs> Oz in Pentameter. Pentameter pajamas to get us through our dramas. Thank you all.